What's up guys, it's your man Beanie and welcome to part two of my in-depth tutorial series for In-Depth Unchained. Now in this video we'll be covering Gabriel the Fallen, he is the second boss of the game found at the end of Paradise Lost. Now in this video we'll be covering all of Gabriel's mechanics, uh, so what attack styles he does and the best ways that you can tackle him and get past him to move on to the abyss. But enough of the intro, let's jump straight into it. Now the first thing you'll notice about Gabriel is that he tries to fly away from you and maintain a distance between yourself and him throughout the entire fight. Now this is a mechanic you can really take advantage of and I'll explain why in a moment. Right, attack number one is his sword slam attack. What he does, he takes his sword and he plummets to the floor, charging up a big boom that will hit you if you're not behind cover. Now this is the attack style that summons the adds into the game, so you'll also get Banshees and Cupids be spawned in if he manages to succeed this attack. Uh, as I said with the flying away mechanic, if you can force him over the edges of the map, he cannot execute this, which means he cannot summon adds into the game. So basically, you want to make sure he does not land this attack. Attack style number two is his sword slashes. It's done in the cycle of one, three, and one. So one sword slash, then he pauses, then he does three slashes, then there's a pause again, and then he does one final slash as he backs away from you. These can be blocked if you put cover between you and him, so try and hide behind one of the pillars. Now his third attack and most commonly used one are his tracking fireballs. I say tracking because they will follow you around the arena wherever you go. So to block these you want to make sure you put cover between yourself and him when he starts it um, and hide behind a pillar as they happen. Now for some of the veteran players out there as well I have debunked a myth for these fireballs and they are in fact blockable with your shield although you must hold your shield far away from you. They do have an explosion radius, so holding your shield in close, uh, the explosion radius does still hit you. Now the fastest way to take out Gabriel in early cycles is to use any multi-arrow that gives you times five. So that's uh, the volley five, wildfire five, or even cactus five. You wanna get up as close to him as you can, like seen in the video. The second that you're able to shoot him, just pop him straight in the head and he'll die in almost instantly. Uh, this works for at least the first three cycles. Another easy way to take out Gabriel is to use Tempest. This works with both bow and crossbow. Um, just keep aiming at the head, go for an entire quiver of Tempest if you have to. Um, but you pull off like 720 damage per headshot landed um, and he seems to go down pretty quickly that way. Now as you move on to the later cycles, Hand of God is an absolute must. I can't, I can't stress it enough how easy uh, the fight becomes using Hand of God. Um, wait till he's at maximum uh, flying range between yourself and him, drop a Hand of God bubble on him and you have easy headshots. The second he tries to go for attack, you can just dive behind cover on a pillar um, and then rinse and repeat. Uh, to be honest, he's probably the easiest boss out of the three. Now, hopefully this game knowledge and seeing the video clips will help you defeat Gabriel if you are struggling with him as a new player. For the more seasoned and veteran players, hopefully there was something in there that will help you progress in higher cycles so you can really push those scores. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, please smash that like button, hit the subscribe button, ding dong and notification bell so you can stay up to date with more videos in the future. The next part of the tutorial series will be the final boss as Modius, uh, so stay tuned for that as well. That is it from myself. Again, I am Beanie and I'll see you all in the next video. If you have made it this far, uh, there's some new content coming out soon with myself and Silver Tongue Devil. We have partnered up and come up with a sort of multiplayer way to play in Death Unchained. Um, we've set out a few rules. Uh, we've played around with it a little bit and we can't wait to show you guys. So please hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for that.